What is your deck building process now? How has it evolved? I feel like the last year was in a lot of ways a lot better than any year previously. I feel like I am getting a lot better at it's kind of hard to articulate without like boasting too much, but I I think I could probably like inverse boast and talk about how like in my first two, three years of streaming, a lot of my decks were like very similar. I played a lot of fair decks. What I would do is I would take like existing like mid range control tempo style archetypes and like have very like small updates to them and this was like what I wanted to share. And there's nothing wrong with that. I still do that occasionally. But this last year I think I had a lot of like very unconventional deck building and like really challenging existing formulas for how decks are built and really like like, pushing the boundaries and finding like very, very interesting shells and formula and success with that. And I I was I was very proud of, of doing that. But my my process in general has always been I have an idea and then I try to maximize the idea to the fullest extent. I will, I'll take an idea for either building around a card, building a deck in this unique formula, innovating an archetype, and I try to find every iteration that looks reasonable around the idea, every different version of it, find the very best one, and then at that point, either I think the idea is not good enough, which probably happens 50% of the time at this point, it just gets scrapped after spending time on it, then the 50% that don't, they get tested off stream. And then I'd say probably usually if I think the idea is good enough, it, it like probably makes it to the stream 60 to 70% of the time from that point of like the 50 that made it here. And usually changes will happen over the, the brewing process over the deck building off stream. And then, and then, <laughs> and then the decks make it to the stream. And um, it is usually the case that I play a deck exactly one time <laughs> um after after like I, I i almost always spend more time off stream on a deck than on and usually a deck gets played for one two maybe three leagues and then i don't i don't come back to it and then the ones i do come back to these are the mo- more successful ones these are the ones that i think have the highest prospects and i end up going through like a few different versions of them on stream and then a lot of times i will feel like the idea is like solved the deck list is like just about as maximized as it can be, and I just stop working on it. <laughs> if I feel like I just there's nothing left to do, it's like as good as we can get it. I just leave it alone for a long time, and if it sometimes we circle back, sometimes we don't. But usually, usually that's the process. Just just try to make your ideas as tuned as possible. Okay, so an incredible amount of work even to get it eligible for on stream because you have to actually. As you said, prepare and play with it offline. Make sure that it has some, it has legs. And then once you play it on stream, how do you know whether to continue playing that deck or working on that deck? Is it based on the results of that stream, or is it just some sort of feeling or a combination? It's it's a combination. Like this is a, this is a question I get asked a lot. But there's there's a few different like I I, mo- I mostly like evaluate the games themselves. Where I've had brews that like my first like ten matches with them. I've gone really poorly, but I still I still think the deck is good, and I continue working on it. And I have, you still I've, feel that potential, yeah. and maybe inversely, there's brews that like yeah, you're doing I, well I, on I've, stream, I've, but they're I've not like, actually I've that like good. Five owed with decks that I feel like are awful. I've like done really well with stuff that I think is awful, and and I I'm like I'm usually I usually try to be very honest with, with that. <laughs> That's the case that I I don't think this deck is that good, but we're running pretty hot with it. It actually happened like last week with this like. Eldrazi promised in deck I was playing. We we like five owed and four one with it, but I'm I'm still kind of don't think that deck is that good. Um, but uh, it's like in, in modern, like w- there's a very interesting dynamic where most of the decks are synergy based, or they have these like, these super duper powerful draws, and it, it kind of doesn't matter what you're playing. Like if your opponent is just like if your if your Amulet Titan opponent is killing you on turn three on the play. If your uh, Tron opponent has natural Tron, this kind of stuff, like you don't you don't need to sweat these games so much. Like it just kind of depends on like what archetype you're playing. Like do you have game against these? Obviously these factors all matter. But like if your opponents are drawing super well against you, they're doing their thing, they're doing their top ten percent, they do it twice over a game. You don't need to sweat it so much. You can keep evaluating the deck. Um conversely, like if you're if you're like you can experience like negative variance and just like push through it. Like if I if I, you know, have like no lander one no lander seven lander multi five and i do that twice over the course of a match sure there's some non-games you can just kind of take out of your sample right yeah but 
but but for the for the most part, I think like you know most games aren't like this, and you can and the and like the the biggest thing also to evaluate too is like mo most of the time your brews involve like a unique idea, a unique formula, a new card, and then a bunch of good cards too. Like this is when you're building a a good brew, you're gonna have a pile of modern staples and like powerful effects around your new idea, and. If you're just not drawing that aspect of your deck too, if you're not drawing like what the ideas you're trying to test, you don't need to like win or lose. You don't need to put a lot of stock into right because then uh, you're not really yeah. evaluating the core, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so it's it's kind of like all of these all of these factors too. Like I, there's there's a for me the process is a lot of like ignoring the stuff that doesn't matter. Like the variance on your side, your opponent's side, not drawing what you're trying to test, and just focusing on what it is you're trying to test and doing it like as quickly as possible. And also like okay. listening to feedback from chat members too is very helpful. And there's a lot of times that uh, chatters have you know good ideas on how to build decks differently, and then we get like really weird and lost in the sauce. And like sometimes, mm -hmm. sometimes like especially when things are going really poorly on stream, and this is you know not super often, but it's very very fun when it happens. There'd just be like a really cool idea that's so exciting is we'll just build it on stream, we'll build it together, and then we'll play it. And okay, dude, those, you're those... just so uh, disgusted with what's happening that you're yeah. just like, let's just take a detour, right? Let's, just, let's yeah. just do something else. This is not fun. What yeah, we're, we're doing, all right getting now. lost in the sauce, and it's 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 something that has to happen very organically, I think. But when it happens, it's really fun. Okay, so lost in the sauce can be for good, or it can also be for bad. It's just going in an un unforeseen direction. Yeah, I, I'd say so. So I guess the unscientific answer you given me is like it's just vibes. Like it's just like sometimes it feels right, yeah, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, I I don't I don't like saying that, but yeah, it is it is for me. No, I I mean you built up so much yeah. experience, so it's really hard to as you say as you said before in another answer. It's like sometimes it's hard to articulate the thing, but you know it when you see it or you know it when you feel it, right? Yeah, like modern is such a, a weird format where there's like so many like unconventional like un unmathematical unformulaic aspects to deck building that are like very synergy based and like like so much of it is like based on experience and like and, and like and like past failures that it's just it is tough to articulate but i yeah very vibe based